discuss what is problem solving. Myself, Professor Bharti Dogra from School of Education, IGNU. Now what all is expected of this session? In this session, we will discuss what do we mean by problem solving, what are the different steps in problem solving and also some important skills for finding a solution of a problem. First of all, what is a problem? You know, many times we face a problem problem could be why is it so, when will this take place, where is it, you know they, it might start with what, how, which, whom and who. So problem can start with any of these words why, when, where, what, how, which, whom and who. And it is very common we come across a number of problems and we resolve also sometimes you know we find the solution very fast and sometimes it takes some time. There are problems, you must have done problems in different disciplines also in sciences, in mathematics. So problems are given, problems are faced and we try to find a solution of the problem. So let us now today discuss you know what are the different steps, how, what process you know we follow to solve the problem to find a solution of the problem what is problem solving? Now problem solving is the process of first of all you must become aware of the problem that there is a problem. So identifying a problem and once I become aware of the problem then developing possible solution paths. What are the different options available? And then taking the appropriate course of action. So out of the uh, various probable solutions which one to choose and why to choose and then after the selection of a particular solution then what course of action to be taken. This is what is problem solving. What does problem solving look like? Now if you see this figure you find that there are some steps in problem solving. First defining it, analyzing it, weighing the options coming to action and the last part is monitoring. Now suppose I want to travel to a place called Asthana which is in Tajikistan. Now when I want to travel to this place, uh, I, this is my problem, I have to travel to the place. How? How to travel? What are the various options avail available? So this comes in the analysis part that is second part. Defining means what is my problem, then I come to the analysis, what are the different options available. So options are I can travel by road, I can travel by, if I am travelling by road I have an option to travel by bus, I have an option to travel by car, I can travel by air, I can also travel by sea. So these are the different options available. Now. What will be my criteria for choosing a particular option? First of all, if I don't have many holidays with me or if I don't have a vacation option for me or if I don't have any leave to be taken, so I would like to finish my journey, you know, within a shorter duration. So then in that case, the time duration becomes one factor for deciding the uh, mode of transportation, uh, for deciding how to travel. Or second could be the cost also because if I go for a particular option some cost is attached so I have to do a comparison that how much money will be spent in case I go by air, how much I will spend when I take the C option and how much money will be spent by me for myself or maybe for family members in case I am travelling with my family, in case I travel in a bus or in case I travel by my car. So second 
criteria is the cost. Third could be, you know, uh, when I want to travel, I want to see the places around uh, Asthana. I want to see other places also. So I want to see the surrounding areas. This, this could be another criteria for me to decide how to travel. Or if, if I don't want to see the surrounding areas, I straight away want to visit this place. So this is another factor. If I am traveling with the family members, I have to see their preferences also. That whether they prefer to travel by air or they want to travel through sea or by road. So there may be a number of criteria for deciding uh, the mode of traveling. Then these are the options. I have to weigh the options. I have to see that how I will be comfortable, um, uh, which one is the pocket friendly option which one you know will make me more comfortable in terms of the time in terms of uh, my commitment to work and my other commitments i can also balance so after you know weighing the options and after you know thinking that this one is the most important so on the basis of that i will make some decision and then that will be implemented also put into practice the last step in problem solving is monitoring. Monitoring means it is quite possible that I might take a decision as step number three, but when I implement, I find that there were certain miscalculations. There were certain, you know, uh, consequences which I could not anticipate. But after implementation, after taking the decision, I find that these were the points which I could never anticipate. And now I find that I am in a little uncomfortable situation because of factors which were never foreseen. So at the monitoring stage, I have an option that in case I am not comfortable, in case I am not happy with the decision which I have taken, I can always you know, go back or I can always change my decision. So at the monitoring stage before you know reaching the destination or before actually uh, you know suffering from the uh, some effects undesirable effects of my decision or my miscalculation I have an option to go back and take another decision or if possible to modify my decision or to make some changes at that stage only. So learners in this manner we have you know five stages defining the problem where I become aware of the problem that there is a problem for which I have to find a solution and then analyzing it breaking it into its different components viewing it in totality viewing it from different aspects then finding out the options which I have and then uh, thinking about each option uh, whether it is good for me or what will happen in case I take this decision and then after thinking about all the options and consequences and their merits finally the best alternative or the best option is put it I am putting it into action and then monitoring is also done in case some wrong decision is taken or in case some miscalculation is done still I have an opportunity to modify it or to go back and then take the decision again so that you know I am comfortable I am happy with my decision now here you know after taking this particular example I would like to give you more examples for your better understanding Suppose I, I am baking a cake, I bake a cake and uh, I find that the cake is not you know very uh, soft and fluffy, rather it is dense. So I am not happy and I want to uh, solve this problem that my problem is why is my baked cake is dense, why is it not soft and spongy, why is it not fluffy. So this is my problem. Now I have to find a solution. I have to find the root cause of the problem and I have to you know try my best 
uh, that this problem is resolved and next time whenever I bake a cake it is spongy and very soft. You must have done the uh, baking of a cake at home and then you know the steps you know which we are uh, the, the process of baking a cake. So I feel that uh, when the baking was done the reason could be that when I mixed the butter and sugar the uh, mixing was not done properly because we have to beat it for a very long time and uh, one reason could be that uh, when I was beating the beating uh, butter and the sugar it was not done for a sufficient um, uh, for, for sufficient time and that is why the cake is very dense or you know the second reason could be that uh, I have added too much of uh, flour because flour has gluten and because of the gluten this cake has the cake is not rising up this could be reason number two so in case I have done this next time whenever I have to bake a cake I have to keep in mind that right quantity of the wheat flour or the flour which I am using or the cake flour which I am using that should be used. Third thing could be that uh, I when I was uh, you know uh, keeping it for baking purpose my oven was not preheated for 20 minutes because according to the recipe the oven must be preheated for 20 minutes and then only the cake can rise nicely. So maybe I think I forgot to uh, keep it for preheating for 20 minutes maybe it was lesser than 20 minutes 10 minutes so I have to go back and I have to think about it that what was the reason for uh, the bake, uh, the dense kind of a cake which I am getting and after analyzing the whole situation I find that the beating of the sugar and the butter was not done properly that means the batter was not prepared properly for the cake and then I realize my problem I realize that this step you know should be done properly and after that when I make the cake again I take care that proper beating of the batter is done why is it required why do we need to mix it properly so that you know the sufficient air uh, can mix can you know get in the batter and therefore the cake rises up easily so now I put it into action whenever I prepare the cake next time and I monitor it also you know time to time I monitor that all the steps are taken properly in case something is missing or something is not done properly I can always take an action. So I have taken very simple example for you so that you know these are some problems which we face in daily life and this is how the problem solving is done. Now let me take another case, another case where you decide to use your terrace for setting up a garden. You want to set up a garden on your terrace. So this is your problem that how to set up a terrace garden. So first of all you have to think that whether you will be using soil for growing plants or you will be growing them in the pots this is first thing second thing I have to think about how to water them then I have to also plan which plants are to be grown am I growing vegetables if I am growing vegetables I have to select those vegetables which can you know grow very fast then keeping in mind the vegetables I have to prepare the soil Another point I have to keep in mind that on the terrace which are the areas where there is less sunlight and which are the areas where there is more sunlight because if there is too much of sunlight during summer I have to provide a shade also to these plants. Then I have to also plan that waterproofing is to be done because I am using the terrace so if waterproofing is not done then it can damage the building then you require some kind of insulation also 
So, while you know thinking of setting up a terrace garden, I have to think of the different uh, you know areas which are to be focused, which steps to be taken and if there is any problem then how to resolve it. So, then I take decision, I weigh all the options that I have to like I have to grow my plants not on the terrace, but rather in the pots. So, this is a decision I have taken and how to provide the shade, how to provide the, how to prepare the soil, how to provide the nutrients which are required, how to do the insulation and how to you know waterproof, what water arrangements are to be made. So, after weighing all the options, I take action and in case at the monitoring stage, I find that something is missing or if there are certain pests, there are certain insects which are spoiling the uh, vegetables. So, then I have to take some kind of use, some kind of you know pesticide. Uh, all these steps, they are very, very important in the problem solving. Now, after discussing these examples, let us see what are the steps. So, first step is defining the problem which we discussed that becoming aware of it. That means, what is the problem which you are trying to solve and what is the purpose, what you want to achieve and why. Analyzing the problem, analyze why the problem occurred and then go deeper to understand the existing situation. If it is a product, you know you have made some kind of a product and if it is not functioning properly, then assess factors like raw material, assembly line and people involved to identify the problem areas. And this will help you figure out if the problem will persist or reoccur. You can measure the solution against existing factors to assess its future viability. Then weighing the options because you have multiple options as solutions and you think about each option or solution in detail. Implementing the best solution, implementing the best option, you consider the big picture when you are selecting the best option. Look at factors like how the solution will impact your budget, how soon you can implement it and whether it can withstand setbacks or failures. If you need to make any tweaks or upgrades, make them happen in this stage. Monitoring, I told you that we can always, you know, at the after implementing the decision, the best option, we can still, you know, decide that whether it is moving in the right direction or not. And if it is not moving in the right direction, we have an option to modify or change our decision. These are some important skills for finding a solution, communication, because we work as a member of a team. And when we work as a team, then we have to collaborate with each other and it is quite obvious to have differences of opinion. So, in that case, we need to listen attentive and respond respectfully in order to successfully arrive at a solution. Research as a problem solver, we need to research, we need to find the cause of the problem, in-depth analysis is required. Then we need to have analytical skills that is after conducting the research and identifying the factors causing a problem we start working towards developing solutions. So, analytical skills are very important and decision making, making the decision. That is all for this session. So, in this session we have discussed what is problem solving and what is the problem, then the different steps in problem solving. We have also discussed some examples, we have also discussed some important skills required for problem solving. That is all for this session. In case you want to reach me, you can reach me at bhartidogra at ignu.ac.in.